Good evening, it's Friday night and I have a couple of jobs to get done either tonight or into tomorrow morning. I've got a new engine crane to put together, SGS engineering one. Um, so I'll get that built up tonight. Uh, I've got a load of level for it. Um, should be pretty handy for tilting the engine and box in. I've got a bunch of tip runs to do. This is the um, the less glamorous side of building a kit car, I suppose. Not that it's particularly glamorous anyway. Um, and then I've got some pipe lagging, which I'll use to protect as much of the chassis as I can when we're dropping the engine in. Um, engine day is on Sunday, so I've kind of got today and tomorrow to get it all ready, probably do some work on the actual engine tomorrow uh, to get the gearbox mounted up to it and things like that. Um, and then hopefully there'll be some there'll be an engine in this car by the end of the weekend that's the goal check back later uh, good evening we are plus 24 hours I think since the last update um, had a bit of Lotus drama that I needed dealing with so the Lotus has gone um, as you can see it's kind of weird to be looked at get out of my way for a bit so I've just put a couple of hours in tonight to get this engine crane built up um, not that impressed. The big bag of bolts you got with it just seemed to be completely random. Um, I've got a load of extra bolts that just don't fit any position and I'm missing some quite important ones. So yeah, pretty annoying, but I've managed to cobble together something from the bits and bobs I had lying around. Not ideal. What that means though is I've had no time to actually start prepping the, the Caterham for getting the engine in. So that might have to be a first thing tomorrow morning before my helping hands arrive. Uh, just to get some of this lagging on to protect some of this, took the wiring out of the way, uh, whatever else. Um, so yes, engine, uh, I've, I've just kind of just playing with the load leveller. Um, again, it just feels a bit, feels a bit small to be honest for the engine, not in terms of weight capacity, but I don't know, I guess this will all balance out when I take the weight of it. Um, I don't know, maybe we can do this live. This is probably a terrible idea. Oh. Oh, oh. We're good, we're good. Oh. Just pull it away from the wall a little bit. This is probably a really stupid idea to be doing this one-handed at almost midnight. I just can't help myself. Okay, so we have lift off. There is fresh air. Oh, look how low profile that sump is. That's awesome. Um, what a tight, what a cool little engine that is. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just keep that pallet under there. Um, yeah, I need to have a think about this really because that's going to have to go. That way. Yeah. Okay, not bad. So yeah, first thing tomorrow, I just need to Pad out the chassis a little bit, protect it, and then get the bell house adapter off that, mount the gearbox on, refit the starter, and then, yeah, see what happens. Tune in tomorrow. <laughs> 